What up YouTube, it's your boy Ace, also known as version 1v1, I'm back doing another gaming commentary for you, this is the gaming commentary I promised all you guys out there, if you watched my last video, this is Transformers Spawn of Cybertron, the last video that I did, uh, I, was, I was playing the, the level called Exodus, um, I was playing as Bumblebee, and I have to admit, it wasn't the best commentary because I bitched a lot about two main things. The main thing I bitched about is that they dropped Corp campaign. I was like, those lousy scumbags, they dropped the best thing in the game. And also I bitched a bit about the controls and where the controls are really hard to get to fix with. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully I don't, um, I don't shed any bad negative press on this game anymore. Uh, I wanna hopefully uh, put this game into some good light and uh, speak a bit about the good things about this game and not be so negative. Um, the level you're watching right now is called Death From Above. I get to play as um, Vortex. Uh, Vortex is a, a sort of attack chopper hybrid jet vehicle and it's kind of cool because uh, I've never played as a, a hybrid attack chopper jet vehicle before and um, yes first time experience who knows but we're watching right now is actually my first ever playthrough so uh, I apologize for any uh, sort of rookie mistakes you might be seeing um, getting shot and killing obstacles you're gonna see a, a bit of that when you actually watch this gameplay, but I really found this interesting because um, um, the, the, I know I bitched a lot about the uh, the control aspects in the game the last time, but this wasn't too bad. Um, it was interesting playing as a uh, Vortex, and uh, I actually did enjoy it. And uh, I preferred the uh, the flight scenes more than the actual uh, the fighting scene where I transferred back to the robot and I got out of my guns but I prefer this so much more. I don't know why I just did. Um and but what we're watching right now is me using the uh the standard controls and the actual um movement controls. Normally when I'm playing as a chopper or any sort of air vehicle I normally invert the controls or the controls are normally inverted, meaning that up and down and down is up. Uh I don't know why that is but I just that's how I played sort of flight simulation or any sort of flight games, that's just how I play them and I'm used to that. When I've played it as Vortex C, I didn't actually use those controls. That's probably my mistake, that's probably why you're seeing me hitting up the ball and uh, it was a bit it was a bit weird getting to uh, get to the all. But I really enjoyed playing this Vortex and um, it was really really cool to actually uh, you know fly around and it's, and also I have to also focus on uh, the detail that's gone into this game, I mean, it's not a cool little thing, I mean, it's flying around now, but a lot of people don't actually do this, they don't look at the environment, and that's what I like to see, um, the work that's gone into actually developing this game, it's not the, the best graphics, I mean, they're pretty good graphics, but it's not, like, the most astonishing graphics in the world, but I have to admit, they've done a really good job, and, um, and also, you might see me uh, going back to the whole thing about hitting obstacles. You're gonna see me hit one obstacle here, and I was like, "What the fuck? How did I hit? How did I hit that?" And uh, it's actually these red laser things because I passed it completely, and I was like, "There's no way that beam, that beam just there hit me," and I was like, "Nope, uh, that's fake." <laughs> Um, lucky, lucky it wasn't like on a higher difficulty or the, the beam wasn't like super super beam and cut through my flipping uh, my propellers the there. I, I survived and uh, which was quite good. Here you actually see me transform back and um, back to the robot, back to the Decepticon and um, I'm gonna dish out my guns and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna light it up. I'm gonna light it up. I am. Anyway, let's get into it then. Um, I also want to speak about this little thing here as well. Uh, you're gonna see in a bit. I actually get to uh, get to check out the uh, the customizable thing, um, which is right here. Um, I actually talked about this in the last uh, gameplay commentary. Um, I actually didn't actually get to try it, but here I actually backed out of it. I backed back in because I thought, oh, you can you can upgrade. That's interesting, but yeah, it's pretty cool because you can go into the guns, you can you can upgrade them, and that's a really cool little feature they've put in the game. 
and um, especially if it's on a high difficulty and you want to upgrade these guns, you've got the option there to do it. And um, but the bad thing is that I found when I was, I was actually in this uh, sort of uh, in this mode where I'm actually shooting and firing. As I won't put, as you run out of ammo really, really quickly, and I was hoping that you know I wouldn't run out of ammo so easy. I mean, I was actually. I was actually hoping that there was possibly um, a different feature where I could actually... I mean, it's a robot. It's a giant, massive robot. Why can't I hold, like, four weapons? Maybe have, like, a submachine gun, an assault rifle, a rocket launcher, and a sniper rifle. I mean, the robot's big enough. I mean, why can't you? And he's got he's got two hands, so you can probably interchange with these weapons. And, and um, here's something else that I spoke about with my last coming heavy. It was the whole sort of melee thing, and... Uh, I'm lucky there because I was about to hit that L3 button I was like, no, don't do that, don't transform and you're going to screw yourself over. I didn't do that, so I was lucky and uh, here you see me uh, walk about, uh, you see me pick up a few sort of guns, I would access this sort of, uh, little um, sashi thing, this, um, weapon pack, and uh, you can pick up some uh, some different guns here, which is kind of cool. Uh, the thing I didn't realise, I was actually looking at my... Um, the, the, the counter over there, I was actually, didn't actually realise that every time you access those weapon caches, you actually pay to access them. Now this is pretty cool, that I almost died there, but I transformed back to the chopper, and I love this looking rocket launcher thing. I was like, boom, two hits and you're down. This guy scared the crap out of me, he's like, whoa, where'd you come from? And that was a bit weird, because I was like, what? You didn't die? Because, uh, unfortunately, it's not Modern Warfare 3, so you're not going to die with just one knife kill. You know, one sort of slash, one shank, didn't happen. Um, this is, I just picked up the uh, the, the rocket launcher now, and uh, rocket launcher is a bit weird because you see my first paper when I use the rocket launcher, and that's me hitting the weapons cache again, and I didn't even realize there's a counter that shows my uh, my credits or something, and I was like, oh, I actually lose credits when I get a different gun. That was just me being a bit you know, a bit dumb, <laughs> you can say, um, and uh, I found using this gun was a bit weird because I'm actually killing these enemies from behind cover, I, I, this one, this guy right here, splash damage, I, just, I totally understand, obviously he died, but I was, I was thinking to myself, hold on, if I can get killed behind cover, if an enemy shoots me with the same freaking gun, I'm gonna die, right, because that was sort of me sort of thinking to myself, you know, there, there's a problem in this game where cover should be cover, meaning that I hate when I'm in cover, if I get shot behind cover, it pisses me off because I'm like, how the hell did he just kill me? I was behind cover, no way he killed me. And it does sort of tick you off, it does, it does tick you off. And you see me sort of I'm walking around here, and again, going back to the whole thing about ammo, they see me just doing something stupid because at that split second I thought, oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. But luckily, platform right there. And uh, you see me sort of uh, going back in the chopper now, sort of scouting out the area. Actually, I had no idea what do I do next. I thought, oh, what's, what's going on here? And then I looked at my screen, hold on, there's a button right there. Dumb hit. Um, that was a bit stupid as well because I'm, I'm looking at, I have to look directly at the sort of uh, the button to activate it or the switch, lever thing, whatever it is I was like, oh, if I go next to it, why can't I just press square or why can't I press the activate button why do I have to align myself you know, with the, uh, with the uh, reticle or the aim to actually activate the switch, and that was a bit stupid uh, this is kind of cool because I picked up this particular gun uh, it's actually called a disintegrator gun or something like that or coagulation or whatever it's called and I actually, I thought, <laughs> I actually didn't know if it was that sort of gun, I didn't know it could uh, do that and uh, it's kind of cool when I, I first got a kill this and it's like oh shit I can, I can melt these enemies I can shoot through them and it's kind of cool cool little gun because you know there's not many guns out there that you can shoot someone with and you can basically disintegrate them and melt them I understand disintegrating but the whole melting thing is kind of cool it's like oh it's a bit and here boom I get the shot from long range I almost died there but that's and going back to it again ammo come on come on why is this a lack of ammo in this game and if they have something that we can pick up four guns, that's awesome. I mean, if we get robot, why can't you pick up four guns? And um, the other thing is, I'm playing this on normal difficulty. It's not an actually, a, it's not on a higher difficulty or anything like that. But when it comes to a higher difficulty, you need to know that you've actually got enough ammo. And you see me uh, taking fire a few times there. 
thing I like about this, uh, you know, is it's not this game's pretty easy to actually play. It's not the hardest game to play, but it does take a, a bit of time to get used to. I have to admit. Um, you know the controls again. I'm not gonna speak about them too much, but it does take a it does take some time to get used to. Um, but I mean, apart from that, it's, it's not too bad because some games you get where you, you're not a really high difficulty and a uh, really hard difficulty, and it's really sort of stupendous because there's a lot of games out there which set crazy challenges. And um, main reason is, I mean. It's, let me, an example being like Wolfenstein, if you played that game on Xbox 360 or uh, PS3, I found it really sort of stupid where they've actually had an achievement or trophy where you can't die less than three times in the whole game. And when it comes to um, playing through a game, um, you, you don't want to uh, have sort of a mode where you can't regain health because if I'm on my last bar of health, I'm, I'm just going to camp. I'm not moving until I know it's clear to proceed because I'll, I'll take that really efficiently. And I'm lucky that this game actually has that. I'm not having to try the high difficulties. Uh, that part there sort of like made me wonder. I was like, because I'm using the rocket launcher thing over here. I'm, I think it's called a rocket launcher. You guys can correct, correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought, oh, if it's flash damage, why can't you kill these enemies? So going back to my earlier point, I mean the whole thing about where you can regain health is really useful. Um, uh, if, if it's on a higher difficulty, if it doesn't have that feature, it will kind of piss me off because that really does suck in some games when you actually have like that. And also the whole thing about ammo you, uh, and uh, having the whole sort of customizable feature in this gun is good, but ammo is really a problem in this game where I don't want to be stuck to using one rubbish gun. Here you see me switching between different guns. Which one's got a better firing rate, you know, testing it out. Because you know what? A lot of times you might fail a mission. It's not the end of the world failing a mission, but it's like trial and error. And you fail that mission using one particular gun. It's good that you can go back, use a different approach, try out a different gun. Uh, they used to see me walking around, checking out uh, what sort of stuff I can pick up because of the whole point of this playing this sort of demo. I don't play a lot of demos out there, and the main reason I don't play demos is because a lot of times in demos it does sort of troll you. Um, basically, it says, hold on, uh, if you bought the full game, you could have got the trophy, but because you're playing a demo, you're not going to get it. You know, please proceed to blah 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 blah, and then you can get this trophy. And I was like, nope. No, and there you see me going to those guys there. Learning from the lessons is really important. And um, in the the last sort of uh, battle I had with those guys there, with the, I actually I actually sort of saw they were close range uh, shooters. So it's always it's always good that you know games always have that sort of um, that thing that you know you can actually um, pick up on and you can you can form a strategy in some ways. Uh, and that was really good because I actually learned that those guys were close range uh, shooters and I would just keep my distance uh, because the last fight I had them. This game's almost coming up to a wrap. Hopefully I picked up on the good points about this game. Good graphics, good weapons, a uh, few little things that I might want to point out. But remember to check out my other gaming commentary. This has been version 1v1. Peace out.